In today's video, we will be flashing OpenWRT to the JLINET Mango Wi-Fi router. If you haven't checked part 1, let's check it out because it will tell you the features of this router. Now, in order to flash this one, we have to download the OpenWRT for this model. So just go to firmwareselector.openwrt.org or as you can see on your screen and search for the JLINET model. And select the latest OpenWRT version, the stable one, which is 23.05.5. You have to download the Sys upgrade one because it is already OpenWRT and we are just updating its version. Before flashing, we'll just check out this OpenWRT wiki for our router. All the important information are written here. So you can check them yourself afterwards. I'm going to link it on the video description. And we will now review the steps on how to properly flash it. Now go to the GLINET docs. There should be a documentation on using U-Boot to debrick your router. And we will just simply follow the step. You have to remove power from the router or turn it off. Plug in the Ethernet cable to the LAN port of the router. Make sure the other ports are unplugged. Well, in this case, we only have two ports on the JLINET, which is the LAN and the WAN. So just plug in the LAN to your laptop or to your PC. And then press and hold the reset button firmly and then connect the power to the router. Now you will see the LED flashing in a regular sequence after a few times. Just take note that the LED will flash three times. Now on your PC, we will now set a static IP address as shown below. For example, if you are using Windows 11, you must go to Settings, Network and Internet, click the Ethernet tab, go to Ethernet and edit the IP assignment. Now set it to manual, check IPv4, and set the IP address to 192.168.1.2, and the subnet mask 255.255.255.0, and click save. You might be prompt with an administration password, so just input your admin password, and you shall continue. Now go to your favorite browser, and visit http colon slash slash 192.168.1.1 and you shall see the firmware update interface now you have to choose the file that we have downloaded earlier and hit the update firmware to begin the update click update firmware it might take up to 10 minutes After this, you'll have to remove the static IP that you set and visit the 192.168.1.1. There would be no password set. Then we have now flashed OpenWRT to the router. You may check my other videos on how to configure this. But in this example, we will be configuring a Wi-Fi repeater. Now you can change the host name to anything that you want. You can configure LEDs, backup the firmware configuration, and flash new firmware. Just a quick note, PLDT uses the same IP address as our router, so we need to change it to a different one. It is under Interfaces LAN, IPv4 address. I will change this to 192.168.30.1. Click save and apply. Now we will join a Wi-Fi access point. Go to wireless and click scan. For example, we will be joining this PLDT Wi-Fi. Enter the password. 
set the firewall rule to 1 and change the name of the WAN network. I will name it WLAN B. Now go to interfaces and WLAN B and set the device to our created Wi Fi client. Click save and save and apply. We shall now be connected to the PLTT Wi Fi. Please note that if you have PLTT Wi Fi turned off, the access point of the router will also be off. Now to test the speed. And this completes our tutorial. So thank you for watching and please share, like, and subscribe.